Oh, um, this event could so easily divide the Australian community. How important is it that other religions, you as a Christian pastor, support the Muslim community? Well, I think across Australia we share the same emotions regardless of our faith, our, our cultural background. We're feeling the deepest sympathy for the victims' families and for those who endured this ordeal. We're also feeling fear and shock and anger. And these emotions can either divide us as a nation, as communities, or we can put our arms around each other and say, let's do this together. Let's uh, come out of this stronger. Let's work together to build healthy communities. We have a clear choice before us to divide when incidents like this happen or to unite and to build a healthy future for all of us who are all today sharing the sim a similar response to the terrible incidents of last night. And it's great to see that hashtag that's been going around social media. I'll ride with you in case any Muslim people are feeling isolated in any way today or in the coming days. Um, and being painted with, uh, with the same brush as this man. And on that note, Walid, are you concerned? Um, are people within your community concerned about potential backlash? Well, Lisa, to, to be honest, um, uh, it seems to be that uh, Australia is getting more and more mature and teaching the world uh, from this tragedy. Um, it is unfortunate to have a tragedy to come to this uh, um, maturity, but um, it is one of the things that we showed for the world that I will ride with you how mature is the Australian community um, uh, is now uh, after multiple events since 2001, September 11th. Uh, multiple times we had fears about our community and attacks and uh, we always, as they say here, um, duck down, it's coming. But um, this time I feel that we are, as Australian community, more mature. We are more spreading love and we are all together into it. And we are now understand that we, what affects each one of us, it affects us all. And we are teaching the world this I will ride with you has gone viral across the globe. How mature as that from Australia as a nation to teach the world. And Brad, just finally to you, as the Prime Minister said, Australia is an open and generous country. Um, what can we do or what should we be doing to ensure that Muslims are not subjected to abuse or discrimination as a result of this event? Well, firstly, we should recognise that this uh, is a nightmare scenario for all Australians equally. Uh, we should also not uh, ask our, our Muslim friends, our, our neighbours, to apologise for the actions of, um, of people on the other side of the world and here in Australia that are unrelated to their values uh, and their own visions and dreams for, for this nation. My Muslim friends uh, have the same dreams for their lives and their community uh, that I have, that we will live in peace, in unity, that there will be shared opportunity for all people. Um, we share these values and we should recognise that as we collectively respond um, to this tragedy. Very well said. Pastor Brad Chilcott and Dr Walid al khazraji we thank you very much for your time this morning. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. Over to you, Tim. More details.